Hello, Forever Family. Until then, keep focus on what matters most to you. Hello, Forever Family, and welcome to the July episode of Forever Matters. I'm Holly Stout, Vice President of Product Development, and I'll be your host for this episode. We have lots of global updates to share with you this month. President Aidan O'Hare headed to Italy to hold a special event with hundreds of FBOs coming from all over the country for dual training sessions, which he led. In the morning, there was a session open to everyone, and in the afternoon, a session reserved for managers. Aidan then headed over to Serbia, where he joined 500 top leaders to motivate all Forever leaders to grow and raise the bar to the next level. During the last weekend of June, 1,500 FBOs from all over Europe gathered in France for an incentive event that included walking the red carpet at the Palais des Festivals in Cannes. There was also a rendezvous on the French Riviera with training sessions, a beach party, and a success day with lots of recognition, including the Diamond Sapphire qualification. In the past month, Nigeria held a success day and a nutritional symposium. Their success day featured recognition, a new diamond sapphire, and amazing product training. Over in Hungary, in the South Slavic region, a success day in Budapest was a huge success, with over 1,300 people in attendance. This day included inspiring speeches, recognition, and so much more. Earlier this month, South Africa held a master class. This exclusive event was designed for driven entrepreneurs with a passion for forging meaningful connections and a desire to grow their forever business. Last month, Switzerland celebrated their 25th anniversary. Today, we know Forever Switzerland as part of one office in the Dach region, along with Forever Germany and Forever Austria. The Dach office celebrated with a big open house party of 300 FBOs in attendance. Over in Kazakhstan, Success Day was held with new recognitions for Eagle managers and senior managers. And finally, in Kyrgyzstan, their July Success Day garnered over 300 attendees. Now, let's welcome events and recognition specialist Drew Mon to share our new gem advancements and top 10 lists. Thank you, Holly. We have six new Sapphire managers to celebrate this June. Congratulations to Laith Hussain Abed from Iraq, Sabah Adnan from the UAE, Ilham Mesmoudi from Morocco, Fanta Sawadogo from Burkina Faso, and we have Annie Vassal Nazaba from France. We also have one new Diamond Sapphire manager to celebrate this June. Congratulations to Kutsai Loin from Taiwan. Up next, let's dive into the top 10 global CCs for the month of June. Coming in at number 10, we have Beanish Abubakar from the UAE. At number 9, we have Monica Walkowicz from Poland. At number 8, we have Joel and Andre Bonafoy Poli from Morocco. At number 7, we have Nekama Mare from Israel. Number six, we have Krishna Aurora from India. At number five, we have Nobile and Percy Meseleku from South Africa. At number four, we have Rolf and Dominique Kip from the UAE. At number three, we have Etsuko Motosuji from Japan. At number two, we have Marina and Theodore Karnat from Moldova. And coming in at number one, we have Honami and Koken Tagagi from Japan. Now it's time to recognize the top 10 open group for the month of June. Coming in at number 10, we have Alana Companies from Israel. At number 9, we have Rosalia Ayeo from Italy. At number 8, we have Navjat Kaur from India. At number 7, we have Ryosuke Nishigomi from Japan. At number 6, we have Tomoko and Hidetaki Kobayashi from Japan. 
At number five, we have Buye Siwe Kauai from South Africa. At number four, we have Maria Fabiola Casto and Massi Miliano Pula from Italy. At number three, we have Neka Mamer from Israel. At number two, we have Marina and Theodore Karnat from Moldova. And finally, at number one, we have Honami and Koken Tagagi from Japan. Congratulations, everyone. Up next, we're gonna hear from Sierra Mon from the Rex Mon Forever Giving Foundation about some updates on Charity Water. Thank you, Drew. This year, we asked you to join us in supporting Charity Water to bring clean water to families around the world. It has been so inspiring to see our Global Forever family come together around this mission. With the funds raised so far, we have sponsored a piped water system in rural India. The past few months, Charity Water's partners have been hard at work obtaining construction permits, purchasing supplies, and collaborating with community members. Community engagement is especially important at this stage as it creates a sense of ownership and pride in the completed water project. Make sure to follow us to stay up to date as our construction begins soon. Thanks to your generous contributions, this project will provide clean and safe drinking water to hundreds of people in a remote community. The piped water system will not only improve health and hygiene, but also free up time for children to attend school and for adults to work and care for their families. You have our heartfelt gratitude for making this project a reality, but we're not stopping there. Help us make the rest of 2024 truly impactful by continuing your support. Together, we can bring clean water to even more communities in need. Thank you, Sierra. We love hearing the updates of Charity Water and seeing the progress the donations are making on the new well. And that's a wrap on the July episode of Forever Matters. Don't forget, Forever is headed to the City of Love, Paris, for Global Rally next year. And we want to see all of you there. Keep pushing to qualify. And until next time, don't forget what matters most to you.